hi and welcome back to the Exercise with Ella series. I'm doing this series in partnership with Gym Possible and I am a full-time wheelchair user and an online trainer and I hopefully will help get you nice and fit. So today we're going to start the beginning of our new aerobics series, so I hope you really enjoy it. Aerobics means that you're working at high intensity, getting your heart rate up and we'll be working those arms continuously for about 20 minutes or so. So I hope you really enjoy it and I'll start off by explaining each exercise. Okay guys, so for all these exercises that we do in this series, it's really important to know that if you have a nice stable positioning in your chair, which helps give you a nice stable core and it means you can work those arms as hard as possible without moving around too much. We don't want too much movement in the hips. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to have a nice stable core, nice seated position, really work that core hard if you have any, and you're going to have nice level shoulders as you do it. You're then simply just going to punch up into the air alternately at a time. So you're going to go one hand, then the other. And you're just going to work really, really hard. So it's the same principle as the upward punches. We're just going out to the side now. So you're going to have a nice stable positioning in your chair, a nice solid core. Try to sit up straight if you can, have those shoulders nice and relaxed and nice and level at the same time. You're then just going to have your palms into your, your fists into your chest, sorry, and you're just going to punch out to the side with alternate hands. You're going to try not to twist your core too much. And you're just going to really throw that punch out to the side. So the idea is you're going to have your elbows up in line with your shoulders and you're going to have your arms out to your chest is an open and you're then going to bring your arms in so your chest is squeezed in. Hence why they're called chest squeezers. So you're just going to open out and then open in. The idea is you keep your elbows nice and high and in level with your shoulders at all times. Really work them hard. You'll also see my core is engaging to help keep me nice and balanced as well. You're just going to have your arms up nice and high, your elbows are nice and level, and you're just going to reach out into a diagonal fashion. You're going to reach out, reach out. So your idea is that you reach as far as you can, really extend those arms out. Try not to let those elbows drop as you do it. Arms in, and you're going to reach out and do a breast stroke like you're in a swimming pool. So it's really important you keep your elbows nice and high as you do this and really reach out as far as you can go. Your core will also help to keep you nice and balanced and nice and stable in your chair as you do it. Obviously, the faster you do it, the harder it will be. So you're gonna have your palms flat on your knees in front of you. You're gonna have your elbows out. So you're making like a triangle shape with each elbow and you're just gonna lean forward, stretching your back out and you're going to push back with your hands if you need to. So you're going to lean forward and then push back. Obviously guys, the faster you do it, the harder it will be and the more it will work your core. Because as you lean forward, your core will engage. Now we do the bicep curl quite a lot in weight training with weights in our hands. And it's where you bend at the elbows, bringing your fists up towards your chest and then you extend your elbows back out, bringing your fists towards the ground. So we're gonna do the same action, except we're gonna alternate our arms and we're gonna do it without weights. I'm gonna bring one arm up, one arm down. I'm gonna make sure my elbows are nice and tight into my body, my shoulders are nice and level as I do it, and bringing one up, one arm down. So we're gonna do the same action that we learned for our exercise seven in this video with the bicep curl. So you're gonna have your fists facing up to the sky. You're gonna bend at the elbow so your fists come up to your chest. You're then gonna turn your fists so they're facing in and press up to the sky. So you're pressing both hands up as far as they will go, bring them down again and curl your arms back down. This is a bicep curl into a shoulder press. Try and keep your core nice and stable as you do it and those shoulders nice and level. The faster you do it guys, the harder it will be. This is all one fluid movement. Okay guys, well done. You've worked really hard and you've now learned all eight exercises individually. So we're going to put them all together now and do one whole main workout. 
this is going to be your whole aerobics workout and I hope you enjoy it. As usual though, we'll start off with a two minute warm up. Then we're going to go through all the eight exercises and that will be one set. We're going to work for 30 seconds on each exercise before moving on to the next one. And we're going to make it a continuous. So we're going to continuously work through all eight exercises before we get a rest. So one set is all eight exercises. Then we have a one minute break and then we repeat each set four times. So in total, we'll be working for 16 minutes and before then having a cool down of two minutes at the end. So it's really important to stretch your muscles out and get nice and loose. So I hope you remember the exercises and if you're ready, I'm ready and we'll get on with doing our warm up. Just gonna start our timer and don't forget to put your brakes on guys. So we're just gonna start off with some marching arms where you are pretending you're marching on the spot. You can add a little bit of a twist in as well, really engage that core and the faster you go, the warmer you'll get. So well done, really work hard. Really twist that core and get those arms moving. You can also add a little movement into your elbows as well. That helps to warm your arms up, well done. We're gonna do about 20 more seconds of this and then we'll move on to our next warm up routine. Really good, keep going. 10 seconds left before we're moving on. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we're just gonna go reach with a side bend. So just gonna reach, 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 reach. Really good. Reach as far as you can go and then stretch out those oblique muscles which run down the side of our body here. Really good. We've got five more seconds of this guys. Three, two, one. And we're just gonna finish off with some neck rolls. So you're gonna do three in one direction. Two, three, and then three in the opposite direction. One, two, three. Cool, shake it all off guys. Grab a quick drink if you need guys. Make sure you keep nice and hydrated during this workout because we will be getting our heart rate up and it's really important to keep your fluids up as well. So our first exercise we're doing, remember it's exercise one and this is the upward punches. So you're just gonna have your fists into your chest and you're just gonna punch up alternately. Remember guys, with all these exercises, the faster you go, the harder it will be. You wanna really make sure you've got a nice seated position and your core is nice and stable as you do it. Make sure those elbows and shoulders are nice and level and relaxed as you do it as well. So we're gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. Really good, keep working. Remember guys, exercise two is gonna be punches out to the side. So we're gonna change in five seconds time. Three, two, one, and we're gonna go out to the side. Really good. The next exercise we're going to do guys is the chest squeezes. So we're going to change in about five seconds time again. Three, two, one, and open that chest up and bring them in. Well done. Really open that chest up, get a nice stretch through that chest there. Keep those elbows nice and high. And remember guys, the next exercise is going to be the diagonal reaches. We're going to go in three, two, one, and you're just going to reach out. I'm using my hands for balance, but if you can, keep your elbows up and reach out. Really good, keep going. 
These are the diagonal reaches. And the next exercise, guys, is going to go into the breaststroke. So we're going to go swimming. We're going to change in five seconds time. Three, two, one, and we're going to go swimming now. Really good. The faster you do it, guys, the harder it will be. So keep pushing yourself. And the fourth, no, sorry, the sixth exercise is going to be the seated squat. We're going to change in about 10 seconds time. So keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. And palms on your knees. And you're just going to reach forward. Lean forward. Good job. Really good. You've only got two more exercises left, guys, and then we can have a minute break. The next exercise is the alternate bicep curl. Really good. We are changing five, four, three, two, one, and you're just gonna alternate those arms. Yeah, really good. This is like a dance movement, this one. I like it. We're going to get ready to change into our eighth exercise, which is our final one, and it's the bicep curl into the shoulder press. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one. Bicep curl, shoulder press. Bicep curl, shoulder press. Really good. Really work hard, guys. You get a minute break after this. You're doing really well. It's really hot today. Five, four, three, two, one. And you've got a minute break. Well done. Have a rest. Rest those arms and grab a quick drink. So that is one set guys, and we're gonna repeat that another three times. So we would have done it four times in total. So yeah, it's gonna be hot work, but it's gonna be really good for you. So make sure you keep hydrated as you do it. Really work those arms hard. And if you can, speed it up each time and make it even faster. Cause that will really, really get your heart rate up, which is what we want, it's good. So we're gonna go into our first exercise, which is obviously the upward punches. That's what we've done first. So remember, you've got to have a nice stable core, stable positioning in your chair, sorry, with a nice stable core. Your shoulders are going to be nice and level. Fists into your chest, and you're just going to punch up alternately. We're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go again. Really good, keep going. Yeah! 10 seconds left guys, and then we're gonna go into the side punches. So five seconds, three, two, one, and we're gonna punch out to the side now. Really good. Really good. We've got 10 seconds left guys and then we're going to go into those chest squeezes remember to keep those elbows nice and high three two one and we're going to squeeze in elbows nice and high open that chest out really good Whew. keep with me keep at it really good job 10 seconds left guys, and then we're gonna go into those diagonal reaches. Remember, if you can keep your elbows high on them without using it for balance, great. Three, two, one, and into those diagonal reaches. But if you can keep your hands up and reach out, that's even better. I'm gonna use my balance on my hands, on my legs, sorry. Really good.
And in 10 seconds time, we're gonna go into that breast stroke. So we're gonna go swimming. We're gonna go three, two, one. And we're gonna swim. Open those arms up. Stretch as far as you can. Pretend you're in the water and you're getting a nice big stroke. Really good. You can speed up guys, really work those arms hard. 10 seconds left and then we're gonna switch into the seated squats. Five, four, three, two, one, and seated squats. Lean forward, backwards, forwards and backwards. Really good. Elbows out, nice and supportive for your body. 10 seconds left, and then we're gonna go into those alternate bicep curls. Three, two, one, and alternate bicep curls. Really good. Groove to that music, really good. seconds left guys and then we're going to do the eighth exercise which is bicep curls into a shoulder press so in three two one into shoulder press bicep curl into shoulder press really good keep that core nice and stable yeah you're doing really well 10 seconds left guys, and then we get a one minute break again. Three, two, one, and stop there, well done. Whew, it's really hot, you're working really hard. And grab another drink. Keep hydrated, remember. So we're exactly halfway through our workout now because then we're gonna repeat that whole set again two more times. So stay with me, hang on in there. Have a nice break. Really relax those arms as you have this break. <sighs> and relax that core as well, it's been working hard. Obviously guys, then we'll finish off with the cool down as well, because it's really important to stretch your muscles. So we're gonna start off with the upward punches again. Really make sure you've got a nice steady seated position. Your, your fists are into your chest and you're going to alternately punch up to the sky. We're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go again. Really good. Ten seconds left guys and then we're gonna go into those side punches. So get ready, five seconds, three, two, one, and switch into the side punches. Really good. Keep those elbows nice and high. I know as you get tired it's tempted to drop them, but keep them nice and high. Punch out to the side. Really throw that punch. And in ten seconds time, we're gonna keep those elbows nice and high again, and we're gonna go into those chest squeezes. So in three, two, one, and open the chest out and back in, out and back in. Really good. Really good, keep working hard. Elbows nice and high. 10 seconds left guys, and then we're gonna go into those diagonal reaches. So remember, if you need to support yourself on your knee, that's fine. Three, two, one, and diagonal reaches. Really good. If you've got your elbows up, keep them nice and elevated. Really support yourself with that core. Good job. Reach, reach. Reach, 
reach. And you've got 10 seconds before we go into the breaststroke and we go swimming. So in three, two, one, and we're gonna swim in the breaststroke. See if you can speed it up even faster. Really good. Whew. Keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Good job. 10 seconds left guys, and then we're gonna go into those seated squats. So we're gonna lean right forward. Three, two, one, and seated squats. And back, forward, and back, forward, and back. Take some time for me to get into a rhythm for this. So sorry. Really good, keep going. Ten seconds left, guys, and then we're going to go into those alternate bicep curls. That's our ninth exercise. Three, two, one, and alternate those bicep curls. This is my favourite. Really, really good. Keep going. Keep that core nice and stable. And in 10 seconds, guys, we're gonna go into the bicep curl, into the shoulder press. And that's our last exercise before we get another minute break. So in three, two, one, and bicep curl into shoulder press. Really good. Bicep curl into shoulder press. Good job. It's really hot, so keep working hard. 10 seconds left and then we get another minute break. Three, two, one, and stop there. Well done guys, you've got a whole minute rest. Enjoy it, we don't get it very often. So grab a drink as well. You're working really, really hard, well done. We're going to be going into our final set now guys, so stay with me, work really hard and see if you can work even faster this time. Move those arms as fast as you can. It's our last set, so make the most of it. And we're going to start off with those upward punches again. So we've got 20 seconds rest still. Check those arms out if you need. Get nice and loose and let's really attack this last set. So we're going to go in 10 seconds. You're going to have your fists into your body and remember alternately punch up. Three, two, one, and off we go. Really good, keep going. Ten seconds left, guys, and then we're going to go to the punches out to the side. Really work hard. Three, two, one, and punches out to the side. Keep those elbows nice and high if you can. Even when your arms are getting tired. Let's go. Really good, 10 seconds left guys. And then we're gonna go into those chest squeezes. So we're gonna keep our elbows nice and high. So three, two, one. Open that chest out and bring it in. Chest out and squeeze in. Really good. Ten seconds left, guys, and then we're going to go into those diagonal reaches. You can use your hands as balance. Remember, three, two, one, and reach, 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 reach. Good job. Really good. Keep going. 
10 seconds left guys and then we're going to go into that first stroke which is the fifth exercise three two one and you're going to breast stroke now really good you can speed up for the last one keep going you're doing really really well well done 10 seconds left guys and then we're going to go into the seated squat which is the sixth exercise we've only got two more after that three two one and seated squat lean forward and then back lean forward and then back really good forward back forward Ten seconds left guys and then we're gonna go into that alternate bicep curl. Really good. Three, two, one, and alternate those bicep curls. My favourite one, remember? Last time I get to do it. We only have one more exercise after this guys, so stick with me. You're in your final, final minute. Let's go. Keep going. Really work hard. 10 seconds left and then we're going to go into those bicep curls into shoulder presses. Three, two, one, and bicep curl into shoulder press. Really good. Really good. Keep working the gums hard. This is your final 30 seconds. Ten seconds left, guys. Really push it. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done, guys. You worked really, really hard. Have a nice shake out. Grab a drink, and we'll go into our final cool down. Two minutes, remember. So we're just going to start off our cool down by doing some arm rotations backwards. So we're going to do 10 on each arm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it off guys, really good. Keep going. And we're just going to go into those final stretches. Sorry, just had to set my timer right. So you're going to have your arm straight, you're going to cross it across your body and support it with the other hand. It's really important to do these static stretches after your exercise and guys, just so you don't get stiff. It's horrible when you wake up the next morning and you're nice and stiff. And you're gonna switch arms, so straight arm across your body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna hold each stretch for 10 seconds. You're then gonna reach up, Drop your arm down, and if you can, put it across with the other hand. If you can't, then just stay in this position. You'll still stretch that tricep down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reach out and round. And do the same with the other arm. So stretch up, drop it down, and if you can, pull it across. Three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten, stretch out and round. And finally guys, we're just gonna finish off with our neck stretches. So we're gonna stretch one side, then the other. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Shake it all out guys, well done. You've done really well. Grab a final drink as well. Make sure you keep nice and hydrated. Thank you so much for joining me for this aerobic series with the Exercise with Ella series as well. And thank you so much for joining us with Gym Possible. We really, really appreciate it and we hope you enjoy the workouts as well. I'll be back again soon with another full workout, so keep your eye on all our social media channels and our YouTube channel, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.